What should a woman bring to the table? Recently I've seen a lot of videos and comments of men pop up stating that women have demands on what a man should bring to the table RLT relationships marriage. Like financially independent. Provides. In shape. Protects his family. He's ambitious and can problem solve etc. So a man doesn't bring value just because he's a man. So. What is for men important that a woman brings to the table and thus not bringing value just because she's a woman? I'm curious and want to learn. Married man here. When I was looking for my wife I wanted a person who was everything I was not. I needed her to be strong where I was weak. Smart where I was stupid. Bold where I was timid and most of all compassionate where I was stone. I got my devil's advocate and we have been good ever since. Married life is work but know yourself and what you need makes life a little easier. Happy Tuesday everyone. Both partners should look honestly at their strengths and weaknesses and develop a patchwork like lattice structure of how they will handle their life together. So, in short, a woman should bring understanding, open-mindedness, a spirit of teamwork and mutual sacrifice. And most importantly love and support. Edit for reference and perspective. I'm a 37-year-old guy married to my HS girlfriend for the past 15 years. Two kids under 7. Just don't show up to the table empty-handed. Same thing as men. Honesty and humility, reliability, and honor. Men want to feel wanted desired, cared for, supported and loved just as much as women do. And it's important to remember that. For me it's peace. If you can bring peace in my life and stick with me, I'll be yours forever. It's 2023. A woman should bring all the same shit a man is expected to bring. Depends on the man? I wanted someone to help support me. I work pretty tough hours and it's fairly stressful. But the pay is outstanding. I needed someone to help me transition from work to home. Someone I could be comfortable just being alone with. Someone to help raise my children and bring us together as a family. Someone who could read me and know exactly what I need to lift me up. Someone I can bounce ideas off and know she will temper them if I'm making them emotionally instead of rationally. And in return I give her and our children the best life I can. Worked out pretty well for the last 25 years. I don't know. Just be nice to me and my daughter. Those are really the only things that are non-negotiable. I'd say respect. Good communication. Ability to take care of herself financially and physically and have a good attitude on her. It's not much if you ask me and people still seem to trip over that absurdly low bar. A fully formed human being capable of thriving on their own. You're a fucking adult. I shouldn't have to show you how to budget. Don't be a feeble damsel who can't look after herself. Is not interested in going out every weekend to get shit-faced and hit on by strangers for validation. Likes outdoors hobbies kind and not manipulative, can have hard to have adult conversations and communication, no stupid spending habits or major debt minus school loans. Pretty simple really. These talks are bullshit. It's why the dating scene is so fucked nowadays. People treating relationships like they're a transaction. Whatever each brings. It has to be an equal exchange overall. They don't have to bring the same things just a balance of things. Mostly is the self-awareness of what you bring versus the expectations you have in making sure that's balanced. Cutlery and the ability to laugh about me saying cutlery. Add to my life constructively. Don't bring attitude, entitlement, drama, constant conflict or any other behaviors or mannerisms that detract from any relationship. All I ask is that she bring herself. I want her. Unrestrained and unhindered. And I will bring the same. A sandwich? Runs out the door. 
All I want is a woman that loves and supports me, has a lot of interests that she can tell me about makes me happy, likes to cuddle. I'll support her through personal mental issues but she needs to communicate. I'd also like someone that isn't asexual and is a little more dominant in the relationship but those aren't as required as the list above. I'd also like to be physically attracted to her but that's a whole other issue. I'm kind of needy but very sweet and loving in a relationship. And I want a girl that doesn't mind. Being genuine. Respect. General giving a fuck. And actually contributing to the relationship. What that means to different people will change. These videos sound kinda stupid. Stop taking these videos seriously. Problem solved. Stop watching stupid videos. Genuinely curious where you are coming across videos and comments regarding the demands women have for men in a relationship. Because according to relationship advice you don't even need to wipe your own ass for a relationship. These days. I look at this two ways. Either bring everything to the table she demands of a man or bring loyalty and the ability to elevate the man in any way he needs. Dinner. I'm just kidding don't destroy me. Men aren't interested in any of that stuff. That's why they don't understand why women require it. Men just want a woman they love for who she is. Positivity and a good sense of humor. Someone that is fun to be around. Also nice if you're not a slob with three kids in tow. She should bring the same things she demands into the relationship. If she wants a six feet tall, six figure income, six pack abs owning man with plenty of free time for her, she should be six feet tall, make six figure income and have six pack abs or have wide birthing hips and plenty of free time for him. My standards is just don't be really overweight and be slightly interesting. Honesty. To unlock honesty one must unlock a bunch of other skills first and search deep within themselves. Integrity. Truthfulness. Confidence. Straightforwardness. Including straightforwardness of conduct. Along with the absence of lying. Cheating. Theft. Etc. Honesty also involves being trustworthy. Loyal. Fair. And sincere. Their best, whatever degree that is. The internet is terrible with this shit. Real people don't think like this. A healthy dose of levity. Be silly and light-hearted between all those inevitable serious moments. Honestly every quality you listed about men. I look for in women. So I guess my answer is I look for all the same things. Partnership. The entire notion of this is pretty stupid. Both partners should bring one what the other one lacks. And two respect, support, love and honest communication. If they're comfortable with only one of them working, that's fine. If they both think they should pull evenly financially, they should. It's up to them to decide who's more logical and solves problems or provides more emotional comfort doesn't matter. If nothing else, this falls apart with same-sex relationships. I have a weird question. Doesn't women feel guilty we they get free food from a guy? Like, doesn't it bother them that they just eat food that is paid by a guy which is technically stranger? Dinner. Someone who loves me for me. That person will help shoulder the load when you're in a bad spot. Help you understand your self-worth. Push you to be your best version. Looks will fade. Weight may come. But at the end, she'll make sure you're taking your meds and find your glasses. Everything else you can figure out together.